Hello YouTube, I'm Joseph and this is actually the first video in this channel. This channel will be all about my home experiments and though I'm from Germany it will be English only to open it up for a wider audience. Today I'll present you with a basic AVR experiment with an Atmel Mega 8 microcontroller. This thing makes an LED blink. It should light up for a sec and then pause for a sec and light up and pause and so on. Well actually the timing is not very accurate if you compare it with a real clock, but hey, it blinks. Despite what they've built here, uh, looks very simple, uh, it still involves the same basic step as it would for something more sophisticated like this robot here, which has in fact the same microcontroller on board. In order to program the chip, you need two things. You need an ISP programmer. ISP stands for in system programmer. Mine is an STK500 underscore v2 and I've bought it on eBay for about 20 euro. It has a very handy feature built in. I can power my chip via USB by setting switch 1 to on position and with switch 2 I can select whether I go for 3 volts or 5. I chose 5 volts. And the second thing you need is a test board. I've got the Admiral Evaluation Board from Pollen Electronic which currently costs 15 bucks. The chip, uh, the chip itself costs about 4 euro in the store but obviously big companies buy these for a much lower price. Now that I've all set up I'll move on to the coding part. I've got three files here. The first file I want to talk about is the main C++ file. At the very top I include two header files. Then I've got uh, a main function in which I first uh, set the uh, fifth pin of the port D to an output. Then I've got an endless loop here and this return is never reached. In the endless loop I wait for one second and then I switch the uh, the power on the pin 5 of port D. If it was 1 then I set it to 0 and vice versa. And I do that after waiting for 1 second. There is a limit uh, for waiting in the mic a microcontroller so I wait uh, the second for 1 millisecond a thousand times. I do that by counting from 0 to 999. And that's about it with the C++ file. Now next thing I want to talk about is the make file. I got this one from the site. It's uh, address called electrons.psychogenic.com and you get it at the very bottom. In the make file, I've overwritten some values. First thing I've done is I've changed the project, project name. Then I added my main C file here and I've entered the name of my programmer and the uh, port of my programmer. If I would be on the Windows side, it could be something like COM5, but on the Mac, it's something like that. You get your device's name by typing in ls space slash dev in your terminal window. Then it lists all the devices, and there I've got mine. So, and the last thing in this directory is this command file, which provokes the console to jump to the this directory and then call make write flash. Make write flash compiles it and then it uploads everything to the chip. Now let's do that. And as you can see it's very quick and the LED starts flashing. Now final step is to to pull the chip out of the socket on the test board and 
to connect it to batteries. I use two batteries to get three volts. I connect the plus to the VCC and the minus to the ground of the chip. And then I, I, I've soldered a LED onto the chip on port PD5 with the plus, the longer one of the two pins of the LED and and then the um, then I've uh, put in a resistor of I think it was 230 ohms and then I've connected it to the ground and well then it starts blinking thank you for watching see you in the next video